Today we are opening a $150 Funko Pop mystery box from Boom Woo. So check this out. What is going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Jeremy. So yeah, that's right. We have another Boom Loot box because they have been really doing an excellent job with their, I mean, they always do an excellent job, but I almost didn't buy this one, but I decided to, and I'm glad I did. Let's break it down. We got it right here. Boom Loot, volume 113 of their like, what do they call it? Like vaulted and exclusives or something like that. So like I said, $150 for this one. So a little bit more on the pricier side than what we normally open, but there's some hits in here that I have been wanting for a long time. So I'm really hoping, you know, fingers crossed, hoping we can hit some good stuff. So this one was, I already said $150. I don't have to repeat. I just did repeat myself, but <laughs> anyways, 35 boxes. Guaranteed value, usually boom loot is guaranteed value. Every once in a while they'll go a little bit below, like 10 or 15 below, but usually they're pretty close to guaranteed value. Highest box was over $450. That's nuts, that's a lot. What's the top hit? Indiana Jones, the SDCC I think, where he's holding like the, the um, golden idol thing. It's been a long time since I've seen any Indiana Jones, so cut me some slack, okay? It's actually been a years since I've seen the originals, like long time. But yeah, like I said, crazy hits. Check these out. So you probably already know a few of them that I want to hit. I want to hit, okay, there's a few. There's a lot of them. Freddy Funko as Captain Cutler. I would love to hit the OG Pinocchio, the um, Metallic Green Ranger, the Red Ranger NFT, that's like the bottom left, I think it was, the Freddy Funko as Bugs Bunny, and there was a few other NFTs that I would be okay with hitting. The reason I said I, I almost didn't get this one is because there's quite a few like NFT horror, like the Halloween, like the horror ones, and you know, you know us, we're not big horror collectors and I'm a chicken when it comes to horror movies. I don't do them. I don't, ha <clears throat> I don't handle them very well. I get scared really easy. So I don't watch horror movies. I also don't really care much for like, uh, when it comes to like possession and stuff like that, just for personal reasons. So I try to avoid scary movies that's just me i know a lot of people really enjoy them so if we do hit a horror one we'll we'll have no issues trading it but and then the other reason why i almost didn't get it is because there's a few of the oh sorry almost dropped it there's a few of the uh c2e2 oh they forgot their little sticker thing on it usually they put a sticker on it oh well so normally the reason why i i um let me finish what I was saying about the C2E2 first. A lot of times I try to avoid mystery box runs that have recent convention exclusives in them because the prices are a little inflated. But I trust mystery or I trust uh, Boom Loot and it's been a little while since C2E2 so I feel like pricing will sort of have leveled out by now but I try to just avoid anything with convention exclusives until that convention has passed, if that makes sense. I like to give it a little bit of time. So what I was saying about the sticker and why it's significant, they usually put their top hit, like the most expensive in the middle, but there's no, there's no sticker on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a big X on the middle, like that. That way we know that's the middle one. We're gonna open that last. Usu they're pretty consistent about doing that. So. I want to make sure we save we save the best for last. And we're going to open that one last. I really like how they ship their stuff with like the with the sorters. So, we've got the middle one here, but I don't know which one to open first. Should we do left or right? 
which would be my left or my right. So I think we're going to do the right side. We'll do this one first. All right. So yeah, I'd be good with any NFTs, any OG Disney, even the Maleficent would be cool. The Indiana Jones, I'd be fine with that too. That would be awesome. I don't remember any other Freddy's. You know what? Let's just get into it. Let's do it. First pop, three, two, one. What'd we get? What is it? This was in the picture. This is the, we don't have any of these. So this is pops around the world. These are actually really cool. They did like different themed. So this is uh, Mexico. And they did like, well, you can see, I'll show you. All bunch of different cultures, bunch of different like heritages. So like Mexico, they did uh, England. Um, looks like Ireland, Australia, Spain. Just lots of really cool ones. So I do know this was in the picture. It was way up in the top left. So this is actually a pretty good hit. These have been kind of growing in popularity. Not, it doesn't fit our collection, but it's a popular one. I'm good with that. I like that. And they're, and they're cute too. And they come with the really cool pins. There is a pin in there. I'm not sure if you can see it. But yes, there is a pin. That's a good start. Okay, second pop. Well, we got a pick. Last, the, the last Boom Loot Box we did, we actually got all three were in the picture, which was weird. So maybe that'll happen again. I don't know. Let's find out. All right. Second pop. Three, two, one. Okay. All right. This is cool. This is awesome, actually. This is Ranger Slayer NFT from the Power Rangers. This is a great hit. I've been wanting to get all the Power Ranger NFTs. I wasn't doing NFTs yet when the when they did this uh, drop. So I missed it. And I really wish I wouldn't have. Or was I doing them, but I just didn't participate? I don't know. I think this was right before I started doing NFTs. The only thing about this pop, I will say, is Funko decided to drop a regular common Ranger Slayer that looks very similar to this one. So I don't know for sure if that affected the value, but that would have been long, long done. That's been a while since that's been out, but this is an awesome hit. This is really cool. I want my collection goal for Power Rangers is all the original box Power Rangers. So the original wave, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And then I want to get all the NFTs of the Power Rangers. So this fits the collection really nicely. And I'm going to say it because I say it every time it works. If you can pull a pop from mystery, if you can pull a pop from a mystery box that fits your collection, that really is a good day. Like when you figure you're only opening three pops and you're hitting something that fits your collection. That is really, that's fantastic. All right, let's do the last one. We got the X on it. This should be the top hit. So far, this is a good box. I think I have no, to be honest, I have no idea on values though. <clears throat> Cause the, the Ranger Slayer, I think is one of the least expensive for the NFTs. And I believe that would be partly because of the the fiasco with the common that looks very similar to that NFT. Like if I'll, I, I'll try to, if I remember, I'll put a picture up of the two difference, like the differences between the two. And you're gonna be like, holy smokes, Jeremy, you're right. And be like, yeah, I know I'm right. For once I'm right. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But let's do the last pop. Oh, I'm actually nervous because I have, I have really no clue where we're at. All right, let's do it. Let's get, let's get it over with. All right, three, two, one. All right, what is it? Hey, okay, this is not bad, actually. I don't remember seeing this in the picture, but this is a really good hit. Freddy Funko as Fred Flintstone. That is really cool. So this was the royalty from the Flintstones drop for NFTs. We got two NFTs. That is awesome. And it's a Freddy Funko. So we are going to keep it. I'm going to try to check what the actual piece count is for this, but this is a really, I'm going to have to check the picture. The issue with this, not with this pop, but the reason why I don't remember seeing it in the picture is because if it's not something that like really strikes me as like, oh, I want that one, 
Um, I don't really remember it in the picture. So I guess that's sort of a lie because I remembered the Rosa. So did I just lie to myself? I think I did. But <laughs> anyways, I'm going to double check the picture. This is an awesome hit. Like, to be honest, I have no idea on values, but I really like this Freddy Funko. Like, Freddy Funko NFTs are just really cool. This is awesome. Okay, I am going to check the values. Honestly, I have no clue where we're at for value. But two NFTs, this is going to be a, I think this is going to be a good box. We're going to check them out. We are going to be right back. All right, we are back with some values. This, I, I said it before I before I checked the values. I said this was a good box. This was a phenomenal box from Boom Loom, okay? So definitely not a top box by any means, but when it comes to value on these, this was awesome. So let's go through them. We're gonna start with the lowest like we always do. So Rosa or Rosa or I'm probably saying it like slightly off. And I apologize for that, but pops around the world. Um, it's based off of like, like Mexican culture. And it's like, uh, I think she's like a mouse, possibly, probably a mouse. So actually really good value for her. So $43 for this one, which is, at, that's, that's pretty good. 43 bucks for a pop. I knew those, some of those are actually gaining quite a bit of popularity, which I think is actually really funny because I remember quite a few of these just kind of sitting on shelves for a while. And um, now quite a few of them are, are getting pretty expensive. So 43 bucks for that is not bad at all for the lowest, that's the lowest pop. Okay, Ranger Slayer, NFT from the Power Rangers. I'm keeping this one. This is going to my Power Ranger collection. This is awesome. This is our first NFT Power Ranger. I do want to get them all. So what I think actually was, was there, was there two waves of Power Ranger NFTs? I think there was. Yeah, there had to have been because there's, maybe there's not. Yeah, there is. Am I, am I making something up here? Pretty sure there's two waves of Power Ranger NFTs. I think this is from the first wave. I don't know, to be honest with you. 2022. Yeah, there has to be. There has to be two. So Ranger Slayer is coming in at $50. So I did mention that other Ranger Slayer pop. I do think that that is kind of having an impact on the value just because of the similarity. Like, they are strikingly similar. So... I don't really know why Funko did that, but it's in the past. Like Rafiki says, it's in the past, so let's move on. This is a great pop. I'm going to keep it. So 50 bucks for that. We're already at 93 bucks, and we haven't even done our top hit yet. So Freddy Funko, I already put it in a pop armor. Freddy Funko is Fred Flintstone in the pop armor, brand spanking new armor. This thing is fantastic. I love this pop. I love NFTs. Like, I wish I would have got into NFTs a lot sooner because a lot of the older ones that I wasn't able to get participate in the drops, I really like them, but they're pretty expensive. So it's not one of the more the most expensive Freddy Funkos, but Freddy Funko as Fred Flintstone, $95 for this. Almost a hundred bucks for this Freddy Funko. That is awesome. I'm going to put it on the shelf behind us and you're going to see it in every video moving forward for a little while until we, I, I try to switch it up, you know? So we paid 150 for this box. We are at 188 total box value. So not crazy, but 38 bucks over value. That's, that's pretty good. And we're keeping two of these. That's awesome. So we are growing our collection by two pops. Freddy is, fr fr it's kind of a tongue twister. Freddy Funko, I gotta say it like that. Freddy Funko is Fred Flintstone. Rules off the tongue a little better than trying to say Freddy is Fred, Freddy is Fred Flintstone. <laughs> and then we are keeping the Ranger Slayer. So that's awesome. 
I say it all the time. I already said it once before, but seriously, we open mystery boxes in hopes of growing our collection. So when we can do that, I love that. Like that makes me smile. I don't know why I get, got a little emotional there, but yeah. And then this one, I'll find, you know, a, a trade or something. I'm sure there's someone that tries, that's trying to collect all of these. So I'll find someone that wants to trade or, or possibly sell it to someone, but two pops out of three, we are keeping. Holy smokes. That's awesome. So let me know what your favorite of the day was. I don't always go with the top hit, but my favorite is definitely Freddy Funko as Fred Flintstone. I really like really unique Freddy Funkos, and I think this one is a very awesome one. So um, let me know what your favorite hit is. Let me know if you've been buying any Boom Loot boxes. They have been growing in popularity quite a bit because they sell out very fast now. They're getting very hard to get, like especially the imperfect ones. But it's within minutes that they sell out. So let me know if you've been lucky enough to grab any other recent boxes and what you've pulled. Thank you for watching the video. Just make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the support, all the interaction with each one of you. It's super fun. I really like doing it. So yeah, subscribe. <sighs> what else? Remember to be kind to each other. Remember to smile and just have a good day.